All right, the sludge hauling thing seems pretty straightforward. I think they're going with a county contractor or some other thing, but anyway, it's 20% cheaper. And then the, uh, I didn't really understand the water infiltration contract. And basically, what they're basically going to do is, I guess, reline or in some way seal these pipes, these sewage pipes that are leaking, and so rainwater is infiltrating them. Um, and so there's, they have a contract for $281,000 the company for do the work but we only have allocated in the budget two hundred twenty thousand dollars so somehow they're rewriting the resolution to the two hundred twenty thousand dollar number but i don't know what that means to the contractor i mean obviously the contractor agreed to 281 so i guess he's not going to do as much work or something's going to have to change um so i guess they're going to reduce the contract specifications but that's not what they said they said they're just going to change the number so but whatever all right, Comcast taking over Patriot Media. Um, yeah, I'll just point out to the local audience, I did have an incident with Patriot Media. They cut off my cable. I had a uh, $60, well, it was actually $55 cable bill. $55 cable bill. Um, yeah, and they disconnected my cable. I mean, can you believe it? And then they, you know, the guy disconnects my cable and he sits in my driveway and tells me, I disconnected your cable. You know, after he already disconnected it. Didn't ask me for $55, just disconnected it. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, and these idiots that apparently their software can't tell. See, I paid in advance a couple of months, and so in their computer, it said I owed for five months or something, when in theory I only owed for two months because I had paid in advance. And that $55, the irony is, is $15 of it was late fees. So they really disconnected my cable over a $45 bill. Really incredible. So I got some issues with them, you know. So I, I don't know if, uh, you know, I'll see if I can make a deal with Comcast. Um, but anyway, just, you know, just throwing that in there just so you know. Businesses, they all suck. Verizon, who was sent in for this franchise fee, since I'm on the subject of shitty businesses, you know, I, I hooked up to their Fios. And for the first three months now, since I've had it, it's great service, worked perfectly. Can't complain about that, the, the, the hardware at all. But they've overcharged me $500 three months in a row on my bill. And each time I have to call, go through the whole automated stupid you know, phone service thing, trying to get to somebody you can actually talk to. It takes an hour for them to clean this mess up every friggin' time, three months in a row now. Uh, just terrible. You know, it really wasn't brain surgery. I mean, what they did is they basically took me out of my old calling plan and started charging me for all my in-state toll calls. And, you know, so my bill went from, you know, to $18 to $493. I mean, it's just idiotic. So anyway, Verizon apparently sent a letter to the town council, or to the clerk. And the details in the meeting, forget it. You can never follow what the hell they're talking about. But apparently these idiots don't even read the letters that come in. You know, the administrator didn't really know anything about it. Nobody knew anything about it. One of the council members actually brought it up because I guess he didn't know what the hell it was about. And he made the mistake of asking the administrator, who obviously didn't know what the fuck it was about. Excuse me, sorry. Uh, um, and uh, so anyway, so they, I think it has something to do with the state and then you know, Patriot Media or Comcast now, I don't know what the deal is going to be there. You know, because basically with this new franchise agreement with the state, instead of being able to negotiate a, a deal locally to get money from a cable company to do the public access station, which is a whole other subject, um, you know, they, they um, will just pay a, a flat fee of 3.5% of their customer base. So, it, you know, obviously, the point is, is we're paying for the public access television, and it's not public access television. It's government-controlled television. Completely different thing. So anyway, I don't know what the deal with Verizon. I don't know what the details exactly, but it was just kind of funny the way none of these idiots knew what the hell the letter was about. So maybe we'll find out the next meeting. Um, so they all pat themselves on the back about what a great parade they threw on, and uh, but they did make a point that they can't throw candy in the street because I guess little kids might get run over with a big, big giant fire truck. So yeah, we don't want to run over kids with our new $500,000 um, superfluous monster truck. Uh, and then there was some complaint because I guess some kids put ramps on the basketball court to skateboard, and apparently a woman and a child were injured. Who knows what those injuries amounted to, but. 
you know, people nowadays are injured if you smoke a cigarette within 40 feet of them. So, you know, but whatever. Um, okay, the liquor license thing. Yeah, I really don't know the deal there, you know, but it just seems apparent that I guess the, the black horse thing is changing hands. And, uh, and then there was um, an issue about KC's again. And this is the company that they're in some legal trouble with. Um, I try, I'll try to get some details from that. You know, they, they had contacted me uh, at one time, and you know, but nothing came of it. But apparently, um, they're going to try to take away their sewer permit based on the fact that they haven't installed a grease trap. And so, I don't know too much about what the business serves or how much it serves. But you know, these grease, grease traps are a little bit of expensive, and. Um, you know, unless you're doing the volume to justify it. I mean, it's basically just to prevent the, the, the sewage lines from clogging. And if there's no realistic risk of that, uh, you know, so this might just be a harassment. You know, they're just trying to, you know, bash them over the head with the legal technicalities because they're suing them. Um, so then the police contracts, yeah, I don't have any information on that. Um, all I know is the average cop is costing the town $100,000 a year. That's what they cost. A lot of money for cops don't have to really do much in the way of risking their life or welfare or anything else. Um, you know, save cats up in trees and such. So I guess I can get to the last issue, which was the uh, question I submitted to the council, again, on the subject of public access television. Uh, I don't know whether you noticed, but they're, they're having a contest, a video contest. And uh, they might play the winning video on the public access station. Wouldn't that be incredible to play uh, video submitted on the station? Yeah, so that's the big prize. You get to have your video, if you win, played on a public access station, which technically should play it regardless of whether it wins. <laughs> you know, it's just so stupid. Um, you know, and the, whatever the prize is, you know, you get a gift certificate to, you know, doucheberries or something. I don't know what the hell you get. Um, so anyway, the whole idea of having this contest is ludicrous. They have these preposterous rules. The ordinance is illegal. Uh, I've been fighting with this, you know, over a year now. So anyway, this is what I wrote to the council. Um, regarding the borough's management of TV25, your attorney has conceded a federal requirement to respect First Amendment free speech rights. Before you passed your TV25 ordinance, I clearly informed you of this federal requirement and you clearly chose to leave the issue unaddressed. The ordinance in place cannot be conformed to federal law merely through interpretation by an unappointed, unprofessional committee. I request that the ordinance be immediately rewritten to clearly uh, codify respect for the First Amendment rights you willfully chose to illegally abolish. So, basically, look, it's a public access station. That means that if, you know, I got a cult, I got a religious, I got a church, I got anything, I got any non-profit thing, I just want to get on the TV and talk or babble, I have a right to, on a first-come, first-served basis. That's what public access television is. People who pay for their cable are paying for it. This isn't a property of the town. It is something that essentially the taxpayers are paying for. And the town has no business controlling it like this. It's just flatly illegal. I've been pointing it out for months and months and months now, actually two years, because I started doing it with the township. And, uh, you know, it's just plain bullshit. And then when I did take the case to, to a state court, a state superior court, the imbecile judge didn't even know what public access television was. I mean, it was just ludicrous. I mean, she should be barred from being a judge. It was just the, the most, it was horrible judicial process. And, uh, you know, so I'm probably going to have to go to a federal court with this. And uh, it's really, it's really irritating that these people, like I said, he, he ended up quoting last at the last meeting the exact friggin' law I pointed to them to months ago. I mean, it's just so stupid. And so anyway, their reaction was the mayor was almost going to open his mouth. He always, he always answers with this line. The answer to that question is, um, and then the attorney interrupted him and basically said, oh, yeah, we will, uh, we will contrive something for the next meeting and blah, blah, blah. So it's always pushed off to the next meeting once again. So anyway, it's really, really irritating. I mean, because they are just flatly, plainly wrong. If they would have admitted it months ago, 
uh, you know, like honorable men should, or honorable people. And this, remember, you know, Stanton is a lawyer. I mean, she knows better. She wasn't at this meeting. Well, she's only at half the meetings, and this is, I guess, you know, she's going to be out of. She's not um, running for re-election. Um, but anyway, it's just it just shouldn't exist this problem, and and um, I mean they really should have to pay a penalty for this because they get, got all the warning in the world. I made all the noise I could possibly make, and you know they just won't move. They just won't budge, and they just do it out of spite and and out of a, a disrespect for the United States Constitution.